training uh, called Eight Basic Building Blocks of this business. There are eight basic building blocks in this business. If you do apply the principle, if you do apply the techniques, the methods, the system you are told to do here, you will actually succeed. Every time, every day, whenever you set a goal, check yourself, am I applying the principles here? Am I applying the goals here? Am I doing according to the trainings? I want you to check yourself with this one. So eight basic building blocks. Block number one. is gym. I want to, we may not finish all the eight today, okay? We will continue next time. Uh, but the first one is dream. Now, whenever we talk about dream, so many people, they think that it is brainwashing people. They think that it is just fantasizing and they think that it is wasting time. The reason why so many people, they do not succeed is, uh, as, you, as Joseph has indicated earlier, it is because uh, they don't know what they want. Clearly. So, block number one is you need to know your dream in this business. When somebody gets married, he or she should know what is the dream goal of that marriage. Whenever you go to college, then you should know what is your dream. So many people, they do because they say that, okay, now it's my age, let me go and Okay, now it's my age, let me go and get married. Okay, it's time to give birth. You know, it's like uh, an animal. Yes, that's how animals smoke. Okay? But we are human beings. We are supposed to intend a desired result. Yes? So why do we need to have a dream? Because... Every success begins with what? With a dream. Okay? If you are, uh, if you want to be a professor, you need to have a dream of becoming one. Everything is built twice. Things are built, are built twice. Once in the mind, and the second, physical. Have you noticed sometimes when you go on the streets, you see that uh, in some places there is um, corrugated sheet fence, yes? And that it's empty, and they put a big billboard there, and in the future we are going to have this building, yes? And what you see there is just bunch of people trying to dig something. Before physically built, it was built mentally in somebody else's mind. Then once it is built in that person's mind, then it is implemented into papers, and then it goes to what? To physical implementation. The problem is so many people, before they see the future, before they see the end result in their mind, they try to go and do things physically. Guess what? What do they achieve? Nothing. Why? Because there is nothing in their mind. That's why we say, if you fail to plan, then you are planning to fail. Now, the, the other thing is, is this, if you don't have a plan of achieving one million US dollar per month or per year or per week, then you have automatically planned not to have that. If you don't have a plan to build your own house, remember I said plan, I, it doesn't say wish, it doesn't say, uh, you know, just thinking, no. It should be a plan. 
So where is your plan? If you want to be successful, where is your plan? Can you imagine if, for example, now the government gives you a land, a plot of land here in Addis or anywhere else in the world, the city government gave you that, and then you just start to dig and you want to build ground plus 10 or maybe ground plus 100 uh, story building. And then uh, the government asks you, where is the plan? You say, it's okay. It's okay, we will plan it later. <laughs> and they say, no, obviously. Why? Because you'll be killing people. Yes? That is a destruction. Look for a non living thing building. There should be what? A plan. How about for the living thing? For me? Do we have a plan? That's why you see destruction in our motherland, Africa. Why? So many of us, we don't have a plan. That's why there is a clash, there is misunderstanding, there is lack of money, there is lack of uh, peace, lack of this and that. Why? Because the people don't have a plan. So we're not going to blame people.